Hello everyone, it's Kristen Fagan here with Softlex Company and today our beating party guest is none other than the barrel knock queen herself, Miss <laughs> Kelly Sutton from <laughs> Kelly's Feed Boutique. Hi Kelly. Hi, hi, how you doing Kristen? <laughs> oh, I'm hanging in there. Yeah, we're doing, we're doing all right. I I told Kelly before we started, I usually have some fun beads to share with you, but um, I have to clean up my big old mess that's going on on my desk right now. I'm preparing for the great bead extravaganza this weekend. So I was kind of deciding what I was gonna make and I, I was doing this at like 10 o'clock last night. And so there's just like a pile. <laughs> a true artist. <laughs> Because that's what, you know, no artist has a clean desk. And if they do, then, you know, like we all make it look nice at the last minute, but generally it looks like, you know, 9,000 beads and soft flex <laughs> and jump rings everywhere, right? That's kind of how we roll. <laughs> I know, you know, a lot of people do roll that way. I'm like, I have sort of am fi finding myself in that space more often lately, but normally I like have to have a clean slate before I create. I have Me to too. like straighten it all up and then I can get started and make a mess and then straighten it all up again. Um, but for some reason, the last couple of weeks, it's just like the mess just keeps, I just keep pushing. <laughs> well, there's been a lot going on for a lot of people and, and it's hard sometimes yeah. when there's a lot going on to have some organization in our lives. And it's I true. There's a lot happening up here and yeah. that is displayed over here for sure. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. Well, thanks so much for joining us today, Kelly. We always love hanging out with you. And, I, you know, speaking of the Rape Beat Extravaganza, we miss you. We don't see you as much as we used to. I know. Um, <laughs> well, I was talking to Neely about it. And, you know, maybe I should hop on as a guest one time. I might have to do that. Yes. No. Well, you know, that's always an option. Yeah. So I, maybe I one. miss it. Maybe one day Kelly will pop in as our special guest of the uh, of the event. That would be a yeah. lot of fun. It but a, it's a great event. So I hope you guys have a blast this weekend. And uh, I'm going to be around. So hopefully I can watch some of it. That's the nice thing. Now I don't have to be rushing around doing other things. I can actually partake in it. <laughs> That is nice. I think you're going to find that that's a lot of fun to be on the other end of the, yeah. of the screen, seeing what everyone is up to. Yeah. Um, and I don't know if you've always done your bead inspired Wednesdays, but I noticed that if you stopped, you started that up again. We started um, when Savannah, I think when Savannah first, like I've done um, Facebook lives for, oh, going on probably eight, nine years now, I think. Mm -hmm. um, and when they first just kind of started, I, I was one of the early people to do it. And um, then when we were moving the store uh, just to online, Savannah, um, you know, she's got it like a real natural way on on screen. And um, so I said to her, would you want to start doing something? And the plan was for her to do it solely every Wednesday. Mm -hmm. But right. somehow it morphed into me doing it with her. And it's kind of we've got this sort of synchronicity that works really well. And people enjoy her and she doesn't really know that much about beads, but she's my, she's my, um, she's my sidekick. She's my buddy. She helps me. So <laughs> she is funny. I know I've seen her do a lot of little short, little silly videos <laughs> on, the Kelly's, on the Kelly's Bead Boutique page and they are fantastic. So speaking of where can they find you if they don't know who you are and you know, where are you going live these days? Uh, well, I'm, I usually have a video on uh, YouTube on Mondays I, that I release at 12 o'clock, but that's not every Monday because, you know, um, I'm trying to give myself some grace to not have to perform all the time. So, but generally on Mondays, you can catch a new video on, on um, YouTube. And then every Wednesday at Kelly's Bee Boutique, make sure you spell Kelly with an IE because, you know, thanks, mom. Uh, <laughs> I had to do it different. So on our Kelly's Bee Boutique uh, Facebook page, or again, it's live on YouTube at uh, Wednesday, one o'clock Pacific Standard Time, because um, we're a, a Pacific girl here. So Right on. And Mari is saying, Kelly, you hung up your beautiful plaque from YouTube. Yes, we can't let that, you know, go yeah. without saying. Ah! There. Yeah, I got my I got my silver play button uh, about a month ago and I asked my husband to hang it. and He didn't. So I hung it this morning myself. And so some people were asking what that is. And that's a nice little award that uh, YouTube sends you when you get um, 100,000 subscribers, which is a really difficult feat. It's hard to get that many subscribers in a niche 
um, industry like this. And so I'm really proud of it. You know, I'll pat Look myself at on it. that. It's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I made you I made you full screen so everyone can see it. And it's Glory <laughs> hanging up above her little yeah. mason jar plant right there. Um, that is then over here. I have um, I have my crown because, you know, I'm the barrel nut queen. So <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it's crooked. But there we go. I have my A crooked crown is better, I think. <laughs> so I got all my favorite things here. So <laughs> you have to have Oh fun. my gosh. You know, if you're I love not having it. fun. What's the point, right? No. Yeah. So if you don't if you don't follow Kelly, it's Kelly's Bead Boutique on YouTube. Is that right? Yeah, or you can go to my website, which is Kelly's Bead Boutique, just all one word dot com. And um, I have my videos. If you scroll down, you can um, find the YouTube page that way too. So I'm everywhere. I'm on Instagram. I'm on, you know, I'm on all the socials. I'm on TikTok. Yes. We we put our um, our shorts on um, uh, our reels or whatever you call them on uh, TikTok. We're all over the place. So you know, if you can't find me, I don't know. <laughs> you don't. Know. <laughs> so just check, look for Kelly's Boot Boutique, Kelly with an I E, um, yeah. everywhere. Find her everywhere, yeah. but especially on her Facebook page and YouTube channel because that's where you're sharing regularly. And yeah. um, you have like years and years worth of wonderful content on your YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. um, I think you were saying you had, I actually caught the. Uh, the Beat Inspired Wednesday when you were talking about your slide knot video and how that had 2 million views or something on that video. Alone. Yeah. That's and that amazing. one was just, it was just a silly little video that I didn't know what to do that day. And I thought, oh, well, let's just throw that out. Oh, thanks, Jennifer. Love you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think she was with you guys last week, right? <laughs> she was. She was yeah. with us last week. Yeah. So much fun to have her with us too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so that was just a ridiculous little one that I threw out, and it, um, it it makes me the most money of all my videos. And I mean, I just looked just before because I was um, looking to see how many people had watched the live today, and uh, it shows that twenty nine thousand people this month have watched that video alone. In so in nineteen days, that's had twenty nine thousand views on a seven year old or six year old video that I threw together in six minutes. So you just never know. <laughs> No. And there's sometimes where I'll be like juggling plates and, you know, spoons and doing cartwheels. And I think, oh, this is going to be the one that they're all going to love. And it's like, yeah, wah. <laughs> <laughs> nobody, you get crickets, right? Yeah. You just, you re, we really don't know. No. I mean, that's the fun thing is like, we're out here doing our thing, but we're really just like shooting darts in the dark. Right? Absolutely. I never know if somebody's going to like it. I mean, I'm pretty lucky that most times people like what I make, uh, but there's been some times when I've thought that, I'm pretty fantastic. And it's just like, Mwah, nothing. <laughs> Thank you, Melissa. I appreciate that. <laughs> we agree. Kelly is amazing. Um, Thank you. I, I did see somebody ask if we're going to have a drawing. Yeah, I didn't set it up yet. So I will set it up once Kelly gets going. We will do a drawing at the end of this video. You'll have to be here at the end to win. Um, awesome. And just... Yeah, we, we try and do that on all of our videos and it's a lot of fun. We just love picking winners and it's just like we're all a winner here. So, yeah. well, and why don't, why don't we do two today? Because I will give away something. I can't do them on my end because whenever we do, it cancels our um, sound out. So we oh, have to stop. Oh, interesting. Yeah, and it's just yeah. one of those things we've talked to StreamYard and it, it's just a, a glitch that we can't Just a fix. weird thing. Huh. So we have to stop doing the, the giveaways. But if you want to do a second one, I'll give away something. So you can you got send it. me their information and I'll send them something. Maybe Perfect. a gift certificate. I don't know. Something. Oh, we'll see. Yes. you okay. got it. You're getting a lot of love in, on the comments. Thank you, Heather. Here, Kelly. Thanks, Heather. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that. I told them all to come over because I, I was just on an hour ago. So I said, you guys all have to come over and see me again because I'm going to yes. make something different. So, Well, let's... um. So first thing I want to share is that we are doing a fun shopping spree um, promotion over at softlexcompany.com. So if you go over there, you'll see all the details on our homepage. And the way it works is if you place an order um, of $50 or more, you'll get entries to win a $50 shopping spree at softlexcompany.com. And that started today. It's fun. We do it every, we do it a couple of times Um you know, maybe once or twice a year. And so that started today and that'll run until Tuesday and then we'll choose winners next week and you'll get $50 added to your online account to use however you'd like to use it. So Bonus. really always a good time being, you know, like I said, we love giving stuff away. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> who doesn't? <laughs> who doesn't? It's always it's always fun. Um, so those are the details happening right now. You could check that out, softlexcompany.com. We added some new um, delicas to our website. We do have some that are showing out of stock that are just waiting on an inventory fix. So it may be fixed already, or maybe it'll be fixed shortly. But before I went live, um, we did have a couple still saying out of stock. So just be aware of that. And then we have some new beadwork findings to check out. So you could see all of that on our homepage. And do you have anything new going on on your website right now, Kelly? Well, we just uh, showed in my live today, we showed um, our brand new stock um, of four millimeter faceted semi-precious and they're awesome. so sparkly and so mm -hmm. beautiful and so i've got a little deal on right now that if you buy three or more strands we'll send you a little gift with your um, purchase if you write free gift in the comment section so um, right on i, I love, love that size like, yeah <laughs> that's so. such a great size because like anything below four millimeter gets a little too small for me personally yeah. when it comes to gemstones but it's like just that lovely sparkle teeny like delicate size it's beautiful yeah um, cool and they're in right now like uh the small beads are i notice them all over if you're on pinterest you'll see a lot of you know little little small things they're just super popular um just you know like the tiny little necklace with just a few sparkly beads and be that's what people like so they do they yeah. like stuff like that that they could put on just any time and kind of just add a little sparkle a little glam to their yeah. everyday right Absolutely. um Awesome. Let's see. Anything else before we turn down to your table? I know you have a great, speaking of barrel knot queen, I know you have a, a great knotted bracelet you wanted to share with us. Yeah. So I just made this one on my um, my live earlier using, um, so every, you guys probably all know Neele uh, Patel from Silver Silk and More. And he uh, uh, had given me some of his beautiful uh, captured leather chain or chain. Oh no, it's called, what is this called? Like it's captured mm. leather. So where he does the knitted wire around his leather. I and haven't so, had any of that in my hand yet, but I oh. was admiring it on his website the other day, actually. It's so nice because it's got um, a little bit of what I would say like rigidity in it, which works perfectly for this. I had made this before uh, just using leather, but it needed some crimps because the leather in and of itself gets a little floppy. So um, having this chain or the, the knitted wire around the outside gives it a little bit of, um, you know, sort of stiffness. So this worked out perfectly. So I did a Josephine knot or a Celtic knot, whatever you want to call it. Um, I did that on the front. And then on the back, um, I put a clasp with a barrel knot because, you know, I have to do a barrel knot because I'm the barrel knot queen. Um, <laughs> so it was a really simple project. Uh, we don't have any kits, but right now, um, you can buy this from Neele, and if you watch the video, um, there might be a little uh, gift from Neele in there. So uh, you can go watch my video, and you can find out what it was. Uh, so oh, you can buy the little yeah. teaser. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> so you can get this from Neele, and then all the other parts. I just I sort of talk about on the video. So this is the one that I made on the video in the in the dark. So this is like a more of a, a darker kind of brown uh, leather with a, a gunmetal or black. Uh, wire and I paired it with uh, antique bronze and I, I love that. I love that sort of broody, smoky kind of look to it. It's so, gorgeous. It's yeah, so I sell this design. part and he sells that part. So I think it's just a really pretty project and um, like this, I think would you know, a fellow would probably wear that too. I think it's kind of unisex. So Oh yeah, yeah. totally. So, I definitely would see that. that could be either. Yeah, that could be for anybody. It's beautiful. And I think Thank that you. color was the one I was looking at, which is like that sandy color. This one um, here? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's so yeah, pretty. It, it kind of has a bit of like a, a champagne sort of tone to it because mm. it's got like the natural, because it's kind of like almost this natural color. But then right. with him um, knitting the silver over top, it gives it a really beautiful Kind of, I don't not quite rosy, but sort of a champagne-y kind of color. It's it's stunning. And when I made it yesterday, I was I thought, ooh, I, I think I really like this. And so I shot him a quick picture, and he was like, oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. So it's a little a little um, not difficult to work with, but you have to, you know, it's there's a lot of moving parts, and I show how to put it together pretty easily on the um, in my live that I just did. So it's a, a very easy doable project. Uh, you just need a little, um, just some tools and some um, painter's tape just to hold it down. And it's, you know, super, anybody can make it. Absolutely beautiful, everyone is saying. 
It really oh. is. It turned out gorgeous. Thank Super you. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Well, thank you. Now we'll start to see a bunch of Kellys in the comments. So I did hashtag Kelly with an oh. I E as our giveaway <laughs> giveaway <laughs> word, <laughs> and uh, we'll pick two winners at the end. You'll get a prize from Softlex Company, and you'll get a prize from Kelly's Bee Boutique. So hang out with us until the end, and we'll choose two people. Love it, love it. And then I think Kelly, you have um, a very limited quantity of this necklace of kits that you're yes, going to share. I too well, right yes because um you know our favorite uh, uh findings company um yeah Carecast is is bowing out of the business <laughs> can so I cry sad like, can i cry <laughs> you can, you can cry. oh it's just it's been really it's been really hard for me so um i'm really struggling trying to create kits right now because all the stock that i carry is from uh tiara cast when it comes to you know toggles and things like that so I can't make vast quantities of things while we're trying to transition, you know, so there's, yeah. it'll, it'll all be okay. I, maybe, I don't know. I'm not happy, but no, um, it's definitely a, a change and it will be a, a little difficult, but yes, yeah, it'll all yeah. be okay in the end. But yeah. So I have 15 mm -hmm. of the kits available and they're called the Libby. Uh, and if you are trying to find one of these kits, they're on my website under necklaces and uh, they're $29.99 and there's only 15 available. So um, if you like it, that's where you can find it. So Awesome. Yeah, yeah it's beautiful. For those Thank of you that you. Didn't, didn't see the picture, we are doing like a mixed, um, a mixed materials necklace design with Kelly today. It's going to be a lot of fun. And as you can see, she's got all sorts of things on her desk. She's got chain and beads and leather and soft flex and findings. So cannot wait to see how you make it all sing. Awesome. I'm sure I'm sure it'll be, uh, you know, I'll, I'll make a mess of something because I always do. But, you know, I can always uh, figure it out. <laughs> I think people have come to know that with me is that uh, no nothing is ever going to go smoothly. <laughs> I'm, right, I'm right there with you. <laughs> you just roll with it anyway. Right. Yeah. Just <laughs> yeah. So do you want that's what happens everything? in the creative process. It, yeah. things don't, it's not a perfect science, you know? No, so. no, not at all. And I end up with sweaty hands. So I have a fan on the back. So hopefully it's not too loud, but I'm trying to remain cool in this very hot little room with all my lights on. So, but it's all good. I feel you with the sweaty hands. I have yeah. a sweaty hand problem <laughs> as well. And I have like rags I have to keep by me to wipe them. And it's really, <laughs> it's like a, it's a family thing. Is it a family thing for you too? Like, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, it's yeah. it's it's genetic. Like we're all just sweaty. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Not my mom. She's never she's never sweat one drop in her whole life. Oh but, no, she Aww. just doesn't. You know, my she looks at me not... like I'm weird. Yeah, <laughs> it's from my dad's side too. Me so too. It's not my mom as much either. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty, do you want me to get started on this? Go for it. Yeah, oh. Janet says it would be pretty boring if everything went perfectly. That's so true. It's a lot more entertaining when we make fools out of ourselves, Kelly. Absolutely. And, and you know what sometimes happens, I find, is that, I don't know about you, Kristen, if you feel this, but sometimes when I make a bit of a flub, it actually, um, well, it makes us look real because, you know, like, I guess when we you sort of see people on a screen, it's like, oh, well, they're perfect and I can't do what they do. But when you see us doing it live and you see that like today I needed Savannah's hand to help me pull on this one thing because I, I couldn't quite get it because my hands were so sweaty. Mm -hmm. it, it makes us look real. And it also makes us like we have to troubleshoot. So then it helps people on the other end because they're like, oh, well, she had troubles with that. But that's what I can do. Right. You know? So it makes us so... look more human, like we're not some sort of, you know, uh, people that just can create jewelry with our eyes closed. Right. Um, so yeah, and it helps and it helps all of I think it helps everyone out there too to see how we troubleshoot because you guys are gonna run into similar things that we run into. Yeah, you know, for sure. Yeah. Mar Marcy's with us, but that was her mom too, and she's a sweater. So Marcy's yeah. a sweater, but her mom wasn't. <laughs> yeah. It, I always say if I just bend over to do up my shoes, I sweat and it really bugs me because I have to like get pretty in the morning and not not, not move for the rest of the day or else I get all sweaty. <laughs> Yeah, it's definitely, you know, moving to the desert was a good thing for me in that respect, because I grew up in the east and it was very humid and um, 
pretty embarrassing a lot of the time. <laughs> yeah, that that would be me too. I wouldn't. I would not. I don't like. It's we're, I'm on the west coast, and we call it the wet wet coast because today it is absolutely pouring. Uh, oh my gosh! But, um, we don't have a lot of humidity here, and my hair does not like humidity at all. But it really <laughs> likes it when I go to Tucson. My hair. I always have good hair in Tucson. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, Diane is asking, what is the website to get the strands to make the knotted bracelet? I think you're talking about the silver silk, right? Yeah, so, so. It's, it's silversilkonline.com. If you go to my uh, video that I just did um, a, a couple hours ago, not right now, later, um, right. <laughs> you can go there and have a look um, for the all the, um, we have a ticker tape on the bottom that will tell you where to go and the little surprise that Miele has for you. So it's silversilkonline.com. Okay. Thanks, All Kelly. Right. Okay, All right. you're welcome. All right, so for today, we're going to be using a bunch of different things. Of course, my tried and true Softlex Medium. I have I have used Softlex since the very first day I started beading because I did try some other companies' stuff and I didn't like it. So I have always used Softlex because you know what? It's the best. There is no other don't ever buy anything else. So we're going to be using some medium today. We agree. No, right? it's, <laughs> I, no it's lovely. It's lovely to hear that. Thank yeah, you, Kelly. I have never, I literally never liked anything else. It just does not perform the same. And so I always say that things need a really nice drape to them. And so Softlex will give you the nice drape that you're looking for. And if you buy the the junky stuff, the, it just doesn't look the same. So never cheap out on the, on the it's like having a good bra. <laughs> Right. right, you do. Yeah, that is somewhere you have to spend the money. <laughs> yeah. So this is our good bra. <laughs> so we're going to be. I using, love that. We're going to be using some of that today, and of course, we're going to be using some crimps, and um, we're going to be using. I've got eight millimeter polychrome. So now, if you buy our kit, you'll get everything in here, uh, but you won't get a full spool. You'll just get some of the. Um, you know, I'll give you like eight inches or whatever, because we don't need a ton of um, the soft flex for today. Um, I'm going to be using some chunky chain. I've got two different sizes of jump rings, and I always like to use the smallest jump ring I can and in the heaviest gauge. So uh, this is a four millimeter and this is a six millimeter, but they're both 18 gauge. I also have some little um, spacer beads and I have a little charm here. And I also have a larger sort of focal um, pendant piece and I have uh, a toggle. And then we've got some 1.5 millimeter leather because I have to make barrel knots. Now, um, I have way more than I need. I only need like a 10 inches or something, but this was what was sitting on my desk. So I grabbed a big hunk of it, but you do not need this much. And for our tools, we're going to be using cutters. And, and I loved Softlex so much that years ago, I bought these uh, two pairs of these softlex cutters and every time i use them in videos people ask me um how I, they can buy them and i always say i wish that softlex still made them because it's the saddest thing we wish it too because i miss using them myself oh, i love them do you know that the this this pair here is 20 years old <gasps> i could believe it I and believe it. um i know they're mine because it has my initials on it um this was not my staff because my uh, when i had my jewelry line i had production workers and they had them too um, but this is my original pair that I've been using for 20 years and they are as sharp as the day that I bought them. They are, there's just nothing like it. So anyway, we're going to be using these and we're going to be uh, using a pair of chain nose pl pliers. And do I need those? No, I don't need round nose pliers today. Uh, no, I don't. I'm going to be using a pair of bent chain nose pliers and then a pair of uh, crimping tools. So I, I hold these out because I noticed that Jennifer used them last week and I actually forgot that I had it. This is the magic, magic crimper, I guess it's called. Uh, if you don't have one, don't fret. You can use just a regular crimper, either or works. Uh, but I, I practiced a little bit earlier because honestly, I haven't used this in years. It was sitting at the bottom of my toolbox. Um, and then I did what I was going to do and it actually worked a little better. So if you don't have this, this is a really, do you guys sell these Kristen? We do. We sell them in a purple handle now. That's just okay. an older model. I think there were two different manufacturers. So we used to sell the yellow, but we sell a purple handle one now. Okay. But, but the, um, the way it works is the same. Yeah. Okay. I don't sell these. So if anybody, um, uh, that my, my people that have come on over, um, if you, uh, are looking for these. Softlex carries them. Um, I used to carry them. I don't know why I stopped because I, they're really kind of, they're fun. 
They are fun. They're they're definitely a tool that you gotta practice with a bit. But once you get it, you know, it's just a it's a beautiful it's a beautiful thing. Yeah. And um, many people will tell you that that once they practiced and got it, they just absolutely love it and don't you know would net would. It's one of their favorite tools to use in their stash now because of that. So. Yeah, well, hopefully I know how to use it properly. I'm If I'm doing it wrong, just tell me because I honestly haven't used it in years. So <laughs> You got it. <laughs> okay. And then uh, we'll just need maybe a little bit of a ruler or something like that. So, okay. So I'm going to uh, teach a couple little design things today. I have a, I, we're going to be doing a front uh, toggle clasp. And I have a pet peeve when people use front toggle clasps in that often they're not made and I don't like to use the word right because that means that I'm the right that I'm not right and that you're wrong and that's not what I mean but what I mean is that if you look at a necklace um, that's got a toggle um, clasp in the front often they're off center and there's a reason why and I'm going to explain how to fix that today so that's one of the little things that I'm going to show you how to do and we're going to make um, crimp covers out of my leather, which is kind of a fun little thing to do. So, you know, a couple of different things that maybe you haven't seen before. So let's get all this stuff out of the way and uh, see what we're gonna do here. Now in the sample I made, I, um, I took some of my chain and I, I cut it in two and I have like five links at the front. So I'll show you the, the sample here. I've got five links in the front. And what that does is it brings this um, strand of beads more up around your neck. If you want to have this down a little bit lower, you can cut three, um, three links versus the five links. So that's what we're gonna do today, just so you can see the difference. So I'm just going to take, so I've got one, two, three links there, and I'm just going to trim that and get rid of this part. And I just need a quick little slurp of my water because I've been talking a lot this afternoon. All right, so now we are going to attach our, I have to make sure that I know what I'm doing here. All right, so I'm gonna take a little bit of my Softlex and I'm probably gonna take about, I don't know, I probably only need about eight inches, but you know, I'm one of those people that likes to have a little more than less. So I don't know, what am I gonna use here? Would eight inches be enough? Yeah, eight inches would be plenty. So I'm just gonna cut that. And I am going to, what am I going to do? I'm going to put on my, uh, you guys carry a really good um, crimp too, don't you, Kristen? You carry your own oh, brand? Yes. Yeah. yes, we do. We have a really excellent crimp and we have it in um, silver, gold, um, why is it? Gold, gold filled, sterling okay. silver copper and then we have blackened which is actually sterling silver with a black oxide on top oh, okay. and um and they're double the wall thickness of most on the market they're seamless and you know just going along with the whole jewelry found crimson beading wire are our thing so we take them very seriously <laughs> yeah it's really important to use um good ones i have a good um one that i use too uh but that's something that i think is really important is to use a really good quality uh, crimp. So wherever you buy them from, make sure that you're getting good ones. So, um, okay. So I'm going to take just a little bit and run it through my crimp. And I still, I'm not sure if you have to worry about it with the magical crimpers, but I always make sure that my uh, Softlex doesn't um, crisscross over uh, because it just doesn't seem to turn out very well. Um, so I want to make sure that this isn't tight. I need to leave a little bit of room for my leather. So I'm going to take that to about there. Normally I would push it up a little bit more, you see there, but I'm going to keep this down about a good quarter of an inch. So if I'm doing this wrong, Kristen, can you tell me? But what I think that you do is uh, you squish down and make like a little uh, ravioli and then you go on the side yeah. and then you just keep going around in a circle, right? I do. Yeah. So that's exactly what I do. And just make sure your crimp is, is sitting in that little notch in yeah. the center each time. Well, and I like just, it because you don't really need a crimp cover in a way, like it kind of- it It's a nice finish, yeah. It gives it a really nice finish. Yeah, it's uh, it's a very nice look. And then, like I said earlier, I was playing around with it when I, I was like, oh gosh, you know, I should pull that tool out because I saw Jennifer use it. And uh, then I tried making the barrel knot 
uh, crimp covers and it turned out really nice. So yeah, so there you go. Look how nice that is. Now, I am also of the belief that uh, if you have crimped properly, that you can be ever so brave yes. and come down here and trim that off. And so you don't have any excess. I despise having that little tiny piece out that people say, tuck that into a bead, because all it does is it will eventually poke out and start poking you in the uh, neck and that'll drive you crazy. So <laughs> yeah, I, I agree. And it's not needed. And a lot of times people will use a thinner diameter because they want to get back in that bead. And it's yeah. really, that's not important. As long, like, like Kelly just said, you can cut right off at the crimp if you've done it properly. Yeah. Because it doesn't provide any stability or anything. Like I was of the thinking when I first started, somebody told me, Oh no, you need to tuck that back in the bead so that you've got some stability. But when you think about the physics of it, what is it doing? It doesn't do anything except get in the way. So just learn how to crimp really well and then you don't have those issues. So that's what we've got. So I've just got the long piece of chain here. I've got my um, soft flex crimped on there and I've got my other little piece of chain that we'll use later. So now I'm going to create a barrel knot and this is just a single barrel knot. So what I've got is uh, one of these little tubes and it's it's kind of curved but that's just the way that they come now these are not jewelry grade so i use them for nothing but um making my barrel knots we do sell these on the website if you just type in barrel knot tube it'll pop up um, and if you buy this kit you will get it in the kit so all i'm going to do is take my leather and i place it on top of my um my soft flex and then i'm going to sort of sandwich the tube in between and the way that I make this is I grab it from underneath and bring it around and I'm working towards for me I'm right handed so I'm working towards my non dominant hand so I'm going to wrap uh, about three or four times I'm going to see how many I can get on here I think I'm going to go four times because what I'm trying to do is cover up that crimp. So now I'm going to take this long end, which is way too long. I should, you know what, I'm actually going to take some cutters and trim that. Just because there's that's too much on there and it's getting ridiculous to work with. And I'm just going to go in the back of that tube. So I'll just pull that through there. So now you can see it's coming out the end of the tube. And I pull that out. And now I've got to hold on to this. So you can't really see what I'm doing, but I'm tightening this up. But if I let go, it'll fall apart. So now you can see that it's come way off of here. So I need to get that down there and then I'm going to start to tighten it up. So what I'm going to do is use my, I use my nails a lot. I sort of push and pull with my nails and my fingers. And it's kind of a little dance that we're going to do here to get this tightened. And if it's what you want to make sure if you're doing a barrel knot is that these are not crisscrossing over. So sometimes you have to like jiggle them in between your fingers, but you're going to be tightening up with this one here. So I'll just kind of push that back. It's always easier to make things when you're not talking and trying to demo at the same time. And so now I just get in there and tighten that up really well. Make sure it's super snug. And then you come in with your cutters and make sure that you're cutting the leather and not the soft flex. So just isolate your soft flex, get that out of the way and come in and trim that off. Now you'll have a little bit longer piece left over because you're gonna be making a second barrel knot. And then we're gonna come in and trim this one and make sure again that we're only trimming the leather. And now look at that, we have a cute little crimp cover that is made out of leather. It's so cute. It's, it's something so, different, right? It is. And it well, it makes you think that the whole um the you know the part of your beads is strung on leather when it's actually yeah. not. But yeah. Because you so wouldn't actually be able to get your beads on a leather that thick, I don't think. No, I couldn't because they're really, they're just a small hole, right? So you wouldn't be able to get that on there. So now you could take, um, and I probably would, but I forgot to bring it. Um, I would pretend this is my glue stick. I would take a little bit of GS Hypo and put a little dab there and a little dab there. Like if you tighten these up enough, they're not going to go anywhere. But if you're going to sell your product or if you just want to make sure that it's not going to move, then I would definitely put a little dab of glue on there and let it dry before you go any further. So now I'm going to string on my beads and these are polychrome beads and I love them because they have all different colors to them. There's grays and reds and burgundies and golds and greens. They're so pretty. So um, I'm going to put on three and then one of uh, these little rings 
and then I'm going to put on another three. And I don't have a pattern or anything. I'm just kind of, you know, randomly grabbing whatever. And then another spacer. And three more. Look at that one. That one is so pretty. We sell a lot of polychrome. It's um, a fan favorite over at Kelly's Bee Boutique. And I don't think I know. Yeah, I don't think I've ever worked with it. I don't think I know what it no? is. No. Yeah, I don't. It's a, it's sort of like I don't know, like a not a newer stone, but I only started carrying it a couple years ago. But I mean, it's kind, it's quite pretty. It's got it's all very kinds of pretty in it, right? I love that. Okay, uh, so now I need to attach this to the a small piece of my chain. So I'm going to have my long piece on one end and my small piece. So I'm like I said, on my sample, I have five links, but on this one, I wanted to have it lower down just so that you could see the difference. So I'm going to repeat what I did before in that I'm going to take a crimp and run it on there and then put it through the end of my chain, put that end through. And now when I'm doing this up, it is going to look a little weird uh, because we're going to leave a bit of a gap. So I want to have this about like, so we have to leave that much room and that is about um, a solid, is that a half an inch? Not quite a half an inch, about three eighths of an inch. So we want to leave enough room that we're not going to be trying to scrunch that in there. Scrunch being the very technical term I'm going to use today. So I'm going to leave a little bit of room there and I'm going to come in and crimp this again. I'm going to just shorten that up just a bit. So right there. And if it's a little bit more than, um, you know, it's better to have a bit more room than not enough room because it would get really tight with that barrel knot in there. And you don't ever want your jewelry to be tight because uh, then it doesn't drape nicely. And that's sort of the whole point of using Softlex because it's such a good product. We want to make sure that we're maintaining that drape, right? Are you still cleaning up, Kristen? Oh my gosh, it's such a mess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to come in, uh, trim this off. And then we're going to make another barrel knot. So now you can see that one didn't turn out quite as nice. I My old eyes don't work so well. Um, so, but you know, I think it does take practice. And like I said, I haven't used it in years. All right, so now I'm going to take my uh, piece. And I, I don't know, it doesn't matter which way you turn it but I'm going to put my leather on the top and then put my tool in between. And now it's a little harder to make this because we've got, you know, uh, beads in one place and then chain in the other, but you know, just hold your tongue the right way and it all works. So now so I'm going to go around my tube uh, four times because I did four on the other one. So I'm working towards my left hand and I'm maintaining a nice pressure so that the air tension, so that they all go on there nice and neat. And now I'm going to take that end and go through the back end of the barrel knot tube. And then I'm going to pull that out and tighten that up. So I always wanted to um, have a it's contest. Like, like magic every time. <laughs> yeah. I wanted to have a contest to see uh, which one of my customers had the most um, barrel knot tubes or because, you know, they've ordered that many kits. Oh, that that's a good be, contest. It yeah. would be Jennifer Miller. We all know that. <laughs> You already know who the winner would be. Yes, because she's literally ordered every kit I've ever put out. Oh, that's amazing. She's your number yeah. one fan, Jennifer. She is. Yeah, Aww. she is. Angel yeah. is asking, where can I purchase the kit? Angel, you can find it over at kellysbeadboutique.com. It's called the Libby Necklace Kit. And I know there's a kit section um, that you can click on and you'll find it right in there. But yeah. here is the direct link if you wanted to copy down the direct link. Yeah, just go over to my site and look for necklaces and it'll be there. And there, it's very limited. There's only 15. So now make sure when you're cutting this that you're really isolating that leather and pulling it out of the way because you don't want to accidentally snip your soft flex because that would be horrible. Okay, so now you can see that we've got our beads on there attached with our soft flex and our little uh, crimp covers. And I just think it adds that extra little organic look 
um, it gives a little bit more interest. And it does. And it, you know, it stays with the weight of the necklace. You know what I mean? Like the weight of the beads yeah. and everything. So it kind of allows your eye to just move without a little a break in that. And I think yeah. it's, it's a lovely little addition. I, I really have to have to give it a try. I know I have <laughs> some of those barrel tubes around in my uh, in my stash for sure. So I yeah. got to give it a go one of these yeah, days. It's good. Yeah, <laughs> it's fun. You know, when I had I had a very successful jewelry line, I was in um, over 80 stores across Canada at one time. And um, people always ask me like, well, why did my jewelry do really well? And I think it was because of little things. I didn't do barrel knots back then. But I've always tried to up up the ante just a little bit. Um, just adding one extra little touch, like I'm going to be adding this little extra thing, which really isn't much, but it adds just an, a little extra touch. So sometimes I think that's what you need to do. And yeah. uh, yes, Diane, I would actually recommend taking some GS Hypo or because you want something that's going to um, dry nice and clear. So I always like GS Hypo and I would put a little dab on. You got to get the metals and stuff out of the way. But I would put it right there. I don't know if you can see that, but right where it sort of crosses over on both sides. And that will just ensure that that will hold on there. I just don't put glue when I'm um, live because it gets all over the place. And, and you, you, know, have to get, you have to give it a little time to dry. And when we're live, we just kind of have to keep moving, right? Yeah. So, so I just recommend that you um, do put a little dab on each end and then let it dry, walk away from it for a bit. So uh, whatever your favorite glue is. Um, uh, but for this, I would, I would tend to use uh, either Loctite or GS Hypo. So, okay. So now we're going to work on the front part of this. And we're going to be um, putting a um, front closing clasp. So now I mentioned at the beginning that one of my biggest pet peeves is when, um, sorry, I'm just looking at my sample to make sure I'm using the right uh, jump rings on my live thing here. Um, one of my biggest pet peeves is when um, they, they don't sit right. So I'm going to address that right now. So um, I'm going to be putting the, uh, what I call the working part of the toggle on this side. And with that, I'm gonna be using three of my uh, smaller jump rings. And the reason that I'm using three versus one, if I only put one on there and try to move this around, it's it's kind of, it gets kind of um, a little too rigid. And also it's gonna solve the problem of things being off balance when you um, have a front uh, clasp closure. So maybe I'll, maybe I'll re, I'll, reverse engineer that so I can explain a little bit better because sometimes people don't know what I mean by that. So I'm going to do it a different way. So I'm going to start on this side. So on this side, I'm going to need a little bit larger jump ring because I'm going to be attaching that part of the toggle clasp to the um, chain. So I'm using a six millimeter 18 gauge and I'm going to open that up and run that through the end of the toggle and then through the end of the chain. And just make sure that you always do up your uh, jump rings nice and tight. And then um, I think I can do this a little bit better without having this on. I will put that on after. So I'm going to show you, and I don't know if it's going to show up very well, but can I, do I have time to show them what not to do? Oh yes, of course. Okay. So one of the things, and again, it works better if it's um, more of a beaded piece than a chain piece, but often I will see people just do um, one, uh, jump ring. Of course, this jump ring is, there we go. Um, and what happens if you just use one jump ring is it's really hard to get this because see, I've got to pull the chain through there. But also, let's see if it shows this. It may not, like I said, it works better if it's a complete beaded piece. Um, I don't know if it's going to work very well. Yes, it does. So you see how that chain is down? Does that, does that translate well? So it looks off center. We've got some chain up here and then some chain down there. You see the difference? It may not show up so well, but this chain looks like it's lower than that chain. And it's one of those things that drives me yes. bonkers. I see uh, what you I mean. Did, yeah, right? I definitely saw it. So the way that I fix that is by putting three jump rings on because it solves two problems. So let me take that off. So I'm going to put one on. And the reason I use three is because if I only use two, the bar would not be oriented in the right direction. It would end up being sideways. Uh, so we need to reorient it. So you have to use um, odd numbers. And these, I'm, I'm very OCD and very quirky about 
things. So these are all the little things that I've looked at in my lifetime and gone, well, okay, that's a problem that I need to solve. So how am I going to solve that? So now I find with having three on there, it makes it a whole lot easier to get this into here because now we've got all that extra neck of the um, the jump rings. And look at that now. They're the same length. Oh, that's such a nice tip. I would have right? never realized to do that, but it make, yeah. it does visually make a difference. It does. And I've got, I actually had a picture that I wish that I could put up because I found a picture of what I like, you know, what not, like there used to be that show, what not to wear. It's like what not to do. Um, right. I loved that show, what not to yeah. wear. That was right. a lot of fun. <laughs> so you see how that completely makes it even now, where if you didn't have it, this last piece would be down here. And it visually it is um, it's distracting for me and it drives me nuts. So when you're making your jewelry, play around with it and and try that and see if um, I'm telling the truth. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Anita says it's all the tips and tricks that really help. It really I, does make a difference. Yeah, I think so. I think that's like, like that's how we can um, use our, our powers for good and not evil is by uh, teaching everybody um, all the tips and tricks that I've learned along the way. I like to share them all. And just things that like you just might not, I mean, you if you didn't do that trick, you'd still put your piece together in a proper way, you know? Yeah. It's just that there's a slight difference in how um, the final look is. And now that I know that, I'll never not know that. <laughs> <laughs> you won't be able to get me out of your head. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so yeah, and it's not, and like I'm not saying that if you don't do that, that you're wrong. I never ever say that. You do you, you do whatever makes you comfortable but visually for me because i'm really ocd i can't stand anything that's crooked or unbalanced or just not right that's one of those things that drove me nuts when i had my jewelry line and when i would go and um, look at other people's jewelry i think okay what is it that i don't like about that piece and it was often that little tiny thing so i just figured out a way to um, mitigate that and that was adding jump rings and so i did it on everything i always made it because i did a lot of front closures on my uh, in my jewelry lines because um, they're so nice it's to wear. Comfortable. Yeah. And yeah. they're easy to put on and off. Yeah. Yeah. And so I just wanted it to look right. So Sue thinks that Kelly needs to do a tips and trips workshop in Abbotsford. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, actually I took my very first class in Abbotsford years ago. <laughs> I was thinking Kelly needs a what not to do uh, show in what not to do segment. <laughs> Oh, that would be funny. But then some people would say, well, all the things that you're saying not to do are all the things that I do. So like, then... <laughs> I like that. Yeah, I like those things. <laughs> all right. So using a six millimeter uh, jump ring, I attached my little pendant because I needed a bit more width there. And then now I just felt like it needed something. I think it looks cute just like that. But, you know, I'm, I always say that more is more. So I've got a little, um, you know, mixed metal kind of color thing working here. And I needed to add a jump ring so that it would orient itself the right way. So we're just going to add that on. And, you know, if, if adding an extra little thing isn't your thing, then don't do it. I just thought, you know, it just needs a little pop of something in there. And so that's what I did. And that is as easy as that whole thing was. So now... Jennifer's already found one necklace that's off balance and she's fixing it now. Get on it, Jennifer. <laughs> I expect nothing less from you. All right. <laughs> So there is our piece with the little bit in the front. So now this is the one that I made today with the three, and I'm going to show you the one with the five so that if you get the kit or if you're making it at home and you're just trying to do your own thing, you can see the difference. If you look in the picture of the, um, with um, Kristen's lovely face and mine, you can see that this um, is on the mannequin. This sits more up around the side of the neck. And just by taking off a couple links, it comes down a bit more and this will show a little bit more in the front. So that's, you know, exactly the same necklace. Let's see if I can get that up there a bit. Um, this is exactly the same necklace, but you can see I did five links of chain there or I used um, three links of chain there. So that is just a little difference that you could, you know, mix it up a little bit. Yeah, so there we depending go. on how you want it to lay. Perfect. I yeah. love it. Judy says it's the finishing touch to a piece of jewelry. It really yeah. is to have that little extra awareness and uh, and attention to detail. And well, that's, I'm all about the details. Someone is. Someone asked. Uh, Patty asked, "How do you get your own line?" I feel like that's a really big question, Patty. 
<laughs> How did I get my own like jewelry line? Jewelry line. Yeah. Well, I do have a, a video that you can go look at, Patty, from like uh, about five years ago where I talk about how that all happened for me. But I started out like everybody else. I was selling at farmer's markets and, you know, Christmas craft shows and stuff. And I, I was working for the police department in the jail at the time. And, um, you know, I used to work shift work. So I had all these. Um, oh, hello. <laughs> I had these, uh, you know, long hours and then I would have four days off. So I would often have, you know, extra time. And so I just started making jewelry and people would stop me and say, where did you get that piece of jewelry? And I'd say I made it and they would buy it off my wrist. And then I just got, little by little. it just, yeah, grew. it just yeah. grew. And I got brave enough to, um, you know, like one of, I have a, 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 a page, a, a Kelly's bead boutique and blab group. It's our, like our private group. Um, you, anybody can join, but, um, we ask all, everybody asks questions and somebody said yesterday, how do I go about doing that? And I said, there's no easy way to do it. You have to get eyes on your jewelry. Yeah. You it's have a number. To... It, like anything else, it's a numbers game. The more people that see what you have and you can get in front of, the more likely you'll find a place to carry your jewelry or customers to buy your work. Um, yeah. You it's a big to... commitment too. Yeah. I, I actually, I used to teach a marketing class when I had my, when I had my uh, bead, bead or brick and mortar store, uh, which I had it up until last year. Um, I used to teach a four hour long marketing class and wow. I would actually have some people at the very end of it say, thank you very much for being so raw and honest uh, because I never want to do that because it's <laughs> now that I, the, now that I really look at it, it, yeah. it is a lot. Yeah. Yeah. It's not for the faint of heart. You have to uh, put in a lot of hours. You have to work a lot of time uh, for a little money. Um, you have to be willing to work alone, you know, like look at how much time as artists we spend alone. Um, yeah. I always say that I'm the loneliest famous person going <laughs> because, you know, a lot of people know who I am, but I spend most of my life alone. Yeah. Uh, and, and that's just the nature of the beast. So, you know, it's yeah. one of those things that, uh, and you have to really love, love what you do and love to work at it because it's something that will take up a very large portion of your time. Yeah. Yeah. It took up, it was all, it was all consuming and it's still all, all consuming just in a different way. And yeah. I actually only um, had my jewelry line from 2003 until 2009. Uh, yeah, the, about the fall of 2009 was when I pulled the last of it out. I had 10 sales reps across Canada. I had a pretty big business, wow. a very large yeah. business. And um, I was I was lucky in that, you know, I think sometimes there ha like there's things that have to work. I got lucky in that a friend of mine who could sell snow to the Eskimos, uh, she came to me and said, I think I need to wrap your jewelry. And I said, I think so too. And so, right. right so you and just, just being, um, and you know, I always feel like there's things, there's things that happen and opportunities that come up across us. And it's like just being open to say, yes, yes, you do yeah. need to wrap my jewelry. <laughs> Let's yes, make that happen. <laughs> you can always say no after, like I, I was talking to, about it on a um, recent live or, or, or something somewhere recently where I was talking about how somebody approached me to sell their, my jewelry at home parties. And I said, no, I thought that's beneath me. And who was I? I was nobody. I no, nobody even knew who I was. Uh, but she worked on me a little bit. And next thing you know, everybody knew who Kelly Sutton, because it was just, uh, well, back then it was Belle Bijou. Terrible name. Right. Uh, but everybody knew who I was because of my jewelry, uh, because um, I had somebody local here who was doing home parties. So you have to be willing to try things. Um, I had a very successful sales rep who got me all, all over the place. And then I had a national rep team approach me and they had a they had a, they worked me really hard and that actually wasn't my biggest success. I actually walked mm -hmm. away from them because I didn't enjoy what that. you're doing. Yeah. It yeah. wasn't, then it became no fun any longer. Um, so, you know, it's, but it was worth trying. It was just, it, I always think you have to be willing to put yourself out there. So if you have a jewelry line and you really want to get out there and try something, you have to be willing to be uncomfortable you have to go to every hairdresser in town and say, would you like to show my jewelry? Or you have to go to every uh, gift store or, I mean, if there's a feed store and they've got a place where they can put 10 of your bracelets, go into a feed store. You have mm -hmm. to try all over the place. Just try yeah. different things, um, do markets and, 
do home parties and ask everybody that like have a party at your house and ask everybody to bring somebody you don't know to that party. You, you really have to get uncomfortable or else yeah. you're never going, you have to be willing to do something that makes you feel uncomfortable. What you know? great ideas you're just throwing out to everybody <laughs> just right then. I mean, it's wonderful. So many good, so many good tips. Um, Anne is wondering if you did a video for your market class at all. I did. It's a very abbreviated one, but if you go back in the archives a few years ago, it's in there and I, and I speak about how I got started and I think I might have one or two different videos. Honestly, it's been a while now. Um, but I do speak to, um, you know, getting your, your stuff out there. And I, I have a pricing video, which is a really, that's a good one. I know we've shared that one in the past before in one of our yeah. blogs. It's a really good video. Thank you. It's one of the most important parts before you do anything you have to understand your pricing because if you're not pricing your stuff properly, then you're never going to make any money. And I've never been um, shy about how much money I made when I uh, had my jewelry line. I charged a fortune for it because I had as a whole pile of um, team of people. I had, I had team yeah. sales reps. I had uh, production people. I had a publicist. I had web people. I had a ton of people. I had to make good money or else I wasn't going to make a profit. And I made good money because I charged what I was worth. Women are the worst. We're all like, oh no, I'll give you a deal on that. I know we are. I've been, um, you know, doing stuff on my own too for a while. And the biggest thing I've worked on is my money mindset for the last few years, because, um, you know, we are our own stumbling block when it comes to that kind of stuff. And you really have to work on your money mindset and get into the head of like, I'm not, I'm not selling to me. I'm selling to someone else. I'm selling to a different person. And I have to, uh, you know, work on what that means pricing wise for them, not what I would pay because I'm making it. <laughs> yeah. And, and, uh, you know, having, having my brick and mortar bead store for so long really showed me that, that between the sexes, men would walk in and they would buy whatever they wanted. They never asked for a deal. They never asked what the price was. They just bought and yeah. away they would go where women would walk in and be like, Oh my gosh, this is a dollar fifty-seven. I I I I don't know if I can spend that kind of money. Like, oh, I just don't know. And it was always this big thing with women. Men yeah. never apologize. They never apologize for needing to make money or wanting to make money or making lots of money. But it's a woman thing. So, I, and I know that sounds very sex, sexist, but unfortunately, it's a thing that women have tended to have do. Just so. culturally, we've just done that over time. It's sort of been ingrained in us and we have to kind of break out of that. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably because we've been the budgeters at home with groceries and things like that. You know, often yeah. women have been had that role at home. So I really think that you have to understand your money before you ever put yourself out there. And it's not a it's not a dirty word. You have to you have to make money. Yeah. Um, so uh, get your pricing down before you ever get out there. And um, that's my biggest tip is to know your pricing before you hit the market. So pricing and then you've got um, some marketing videos over on your YouTube channel, I'm guessing is the best place to find yeah. those things. And then you talked about your group. Um, it was called Kelly's Beads and Blab. Is that right? Yeah. And it's, it's, it's on Facebook. And if you um, just go to I don't know, I guess you can go to the group section. I'm not sure. But it's on um, even if you just go into like the little search bar and put it in, I bet you you'd find it. Yeah. And I think it might be on my YouTube videos. If you go down into the description, there might be a link in there. Um, but we talk a lot of, in there. People will ask specific questions about um, how to you know, price something or, you know, how to get their stuff out there. And I don't I'm not on there all the time, but I. When it comes to those kind of questions, because I have a lot of experience, I will, you know, jump in there. And, you know, there's sometimes pushback. People will say, well, I can't charge that. And I say, yes, yeah. you can. Yeah. A lot of my earrings, I used to charge like $68 for it. Granted, they were sterling silver, but sterling silver was not that expensive. Wasn't like it wasn't a lot more than base metals. And I still charged a lot for it. And that's where I made all my money was in earrings. Mm hmm. That's so. a very good. That's a very good point, Kim. It's also because we don't always make as much money as men, even in the same position, same career. So we yeah. have to be more we end up being more money conscious because of that. Yeah, yeah. it's very true. Yeah. Very, very so true. You have to know your market. You know, you have to know who you're selling to. That was um, I must have just talked about this recently because it's all just like, did I just talk? Did it's I all just coming all back to you, huh? I think I just did a video a couple of weeks ago where I spoke on on this. I, it's all of a sudden my I do so many videos that I never know what you never know about. where you were talking about what. I think I just did a video on this. Um, Dang, but yeah, if you, you can find Kelly's group and put that in the in the 
um, comments, that would be awesome. Yeah. I think on and YouTube then, about three weeks ago or a month ago, I did a, I did a video on, on the, all those, all this sort of stuff. I think, unless I'm having a dream, you know, <laughs> and this is just boo. yeah, unless it's I all just coming. All the time. <laughs> so I'm going to give you all another chance to enter our giveaway. We have a giveaway from Softlex company. I think we still have some of these har really pretty harvest moon strands left. So I'm going to do one of these uh, on today's video because we've got the harvest moon kit for the TGBE coming up and Kelly's going to have something. I'm, oh, she's I'm got an idea. Something. Okay, I'm going to pop to my table for a minute while Kelly Kelly goes okay. and grabs something. Oh, she's so quick. She's back already. <laughs> I have, well, so you, I made this, you know, this piece this, this afternoon, my my piece with uh, Silver Silk. Uh, Neele gifted me with a few things. So I'm going to give away this beautiful um, navy Ooh. blue. And um, it's, it's the three feet of the uh, knitted wire on leather. And it's got a couple end caps in there. So that's what I will give away. That's a pretty good value. It's a really beautiful piece. So that's what I will give away to whoever wins. Oh, that's really awesome. I love it. So you just enter by putting in the hashtag Kelly, K-E-L-L-I-E, into the comments. And the program will automatically calculate all of the entries and will choose a winner. So I'm going to pop down to my table for just a really quick second to show you all what I cleaned. This is me cleaning up. <laughs> Oh, I love those beads, those little uh, flowers. Are those chocolates? Uh, yes, aren't they adorable? Oh, I love them. They're so, so cute. We just they're so cute. We have them in, we did have them in 22 colors. We sold out of one. So now we have 21 colors and they're moving really fast. We put them up last week at softlexcompany.com. So you guys can go check them out. I made that bracelet on Monday. And then here's just a handful of some of the other colors. I only have about half of them here. So you'll have to check out the website to see all of the colors you can get. And we no longer, we even had a bundle where you could get all of them at a discount but because we sold out of one already and quite a few of them are getting close to selling out um, individually, we don't have the bundle available anymore. What are you uh, calling the, them? They're, are, they're called boho, the check glass boho flowers. Oh, wow. Okay. Just so yeah. people are trying to find them because those are yeah. really good. I love they're them. Right, they're right on the homepage right now. So oh, um, really fun. Lots of great colors. So we did, I did a, this one and then I also did another one with yellows and like this, I love this um, marigold mustardy mm -hmm. color. So, so pretty. That's fabulous. And then, then we have all of these really fun ceramic round beads that we introduced about a week or so ago, but I just got them in the mail to me. Um, I just picked them up in my box yesterday. So these are all just so juicy colors and they're really nice. You can get them sim by themselves or you can still get the bundle of all of these colors in one to save 30% off. Um, we've got some bird beads. So we've got some bird coins on the right here, the check glass bird coins. And then we've got these beautiful owls. We're just down to these two colors in them. So you can find these over there, some new items at Softlex. Um, I think we've only got a handful of these left. This goes with our latest kit, Birds of a Feather, and that'll be our kit that we open at the end of October. So this is the strand. It doesn't come in the kit, but it coordinates. And we just got a handful of those left, maybe like less than five. Um, and we've got the Birds of a Feather is our mystery design kit. That's our newest monthly kit that you guys can go grab at softlexcompany.com. And you'll see um, the information for that shopping spree I talked about earlier. So every order over $50 will get at least one entry into the shopping spree. And the more you spend, the more entries you will get. And then the last thing I have on my desk is a sneaky peek of our Harvest Moon kit for the Great Beat Extravaganza. Um, I haven't figured out my design totally yet, but I'm kind of playing with this really fun mixed, I don't know what's going on here, but, <laughs> but sort of a very eclectic, maybe a little tribal look to it, but I'm going to make some changes because I, of where things are just because um the way it's laying at the moment, but I like the idea. I just might have some, uh, some slight changes on the design for the, for the actual show. And yeah, so I just wanted to just give you guys a little rundown of all of the fun things going on at softlexcompany.com. And 
I also wanted to say right before we pick a winner that Sarah really wish she could be here with everyone today. She misses all of you so, so much. Um, she would much rather be hanging out with all of us in a beating party uh, than what she's going through right now. But she wants to just say a big heartfelt thank you for all of the love and encouragement and the messages and everything that everyone's done so far and all of the help that she's received. Um, really, it's just been amazing and it's making a very difficult time at least a little bit easier for her to manage right now and hopefully she'll be back uh in the near future i know her husband's going to be starting some treatments and she's hoping that the schedule for those might level out and she'll be able to um to be here with all of you a little more often but thank you for all of your love and your patience and i know that she misses all of you so i'm sure you all miss all of her you've been seeing a lot of me <laughs> We love you, Kristen. My apologies. <laughs> no, we love you. But no, it's been um, it's been you know a really a really tough few weeks over here in Softlex land, yeah. and we love all of you so very much. Um, thank you, thank you. All right, so let's pick some winners. Uh, we've got 158 entries right now, That's awesome. and. We're gonna go ahead and draw our first, our first name. This will be. Let's make this Kelly's winner. Winner okay. number one, <laughs> Bridget. Right. Hooray, Bridget, Bridget over Hooray, on Bridget. Facebook. Are you still here, Bridget? Please let us know. You know, you do have to be here at the end of the video when I'm drawing the names to receive your prize. So let me know if. Um, you're here, Bridget. Oh, there she is. She just there commented that she loves, whoops, wrong one. She loves the flower beads. <laughs> Hooray. So Bridget, please send us a message. Send us an email at info at softlexcompany.com with your shipping information, and we will send your information over to Kelly so she can get your leather prize out to you. That is going to be so awesome to work with some of the leather silver silk from our friend Nile at Silver Silk and More. Congratulations, right. Bridget. Congrats. All right. So we're going to draw again. Let's see who our next winner is. Lois. Lois, Lois, Lois. on YouTube. Oh, that kind of worked out fun. Sometimes it doesn't always pick people from two different places. But today we got one Facebooker and one YouTuber. So. Awesome. I love when that happens. <laughs> Lois, are you still here? Oh, looks like Zach just ordered her flower beads. I know the, these nice. flower beads are really a lot of fun. And they're such a great size. They're yeah, like a nice, I love them. big what size. I also wanted to say, you know, those, um, uh, the ceramic beads that you have? Yes. They're fabulous with barrel knots in between. Oh, I'm going to have to try that. You're going to, yeah. now that I have all of these to play with, I will for sure that's on my short list of things to do <laughs> yeah because they've got a nice big uh, drill hole in them so you can get a, a two millimeter leather in there yeah they sure do uh lois is here too hooray Yay, congrats lois lois. Awesome. lois also send us a message at info at softlexcompany.com send us an email and let us know your shipping information for your prize and we will get your harvest moon bead strand out to you nice thank congrats, you all lois. congrats yay Thank you all so much. And thank you, Kelly, for joining us today. It's always lovely to get to spend time with you. Um, it was really a lot of fun. And if you love Kelly's necklace, which I'm sure you do because it's fabulous, be sure to pick it up, her limited edition um, kits that she has. There's only 15, so they're going to go quick. Well, thank you for having me today. It was lots of fun. I was, I'm always so nervous doing this, but especially with somebody else. Cause I'm like, well, what's going to go wrong, but nothing went wrong. So it's good. <laughs> <laughs> I know I, I, I totally get it. Nothing. What could go wrong? Even when things go wrong, we make it right. Don't yeah. we? We just <laughs> we roll with it. <laughs> well, it was fun hanging out with you for the afternoon. So it's been a, it's been a long day of videos today, but it's been a fun day. So yeah. Well, I will let you go. You'll be able to take some more water and just relax those jaw muscles yeah. from all of your, your chit-chatting today and all your smiling. Yeah. Uh, we will miss you this weekend, but looking forward to allowing you to just kind of hang out with us in yeah. the comments and see what I, everyone's I, making. Well, have a, have a really <laughs> successful weekend. It's so nice to 
have such a good group together. You know, we're, we're, we're lucky that, um, you know, a lot of people don't like to share each other's businesses, but our group, we all like to help each other out, which is fantastic. It's pretty so. special. Yeah. It's yeah. pretty special. And you're yeah. definitely still a part of us. Even yeah. I, I feel like I am right. still. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thanks everybody. Lots of right. love to all of Bye. you. Thanks everybody. Appreciate it.